had a bad luck in a run of it. And now you need some help. And that's what these papers are for, is resources. Can I continue? I'm almost done. Can I continue? Okay, thank you. By implementing a model known as Housing First, Utah has reduced that number from nearly 2,000 people in 2005 to fewer than 200. From 2,000 to 200. Yeah, say a big wow. Wow. By, uh, and so here's what a quote is from a lady. I'm going to lay in the bathtub for a week. Kim Evans is one of those few who remain chronically homeless in his life. Oh, it's a guy. And his life is about to change. Right now, he lives outside Salt Lake City in the woods next to a highway. Amanda Lee and Sonia, our children from the nonprofit of America, visit them at his encampment. The city's homeless living encampments like this one in South Lake, Salt, South Salt Lake Cape. And Case ha has cleared out a lot of trees. He says he thinks, likes to think of his own place as his own park. He's 54 years old, my age, but looks a lot older. He has a tent with a fence around it made of wood, piles of tarp, and grocery carts full of stuff he collects. He wears a good new winter coat, which is donated. He says he's been living outside for five years. Too long, says Amanda Lee, one of the outreach workers. Evans agrees. He has a bad back, and he has struggled with drugs and alcohol. When he talks, it's a little hard to understand. He said he's had a stroke and is missing some teeth. Okay, do you know guys like that? They're out there in the cold. Yeah, they got a bad back. They got, they're missing teeth. Okay, so but any day now he's about to get his own apartment, mostly paid for by the federal government. He says he doesn't want to spend another winter in the woods. Now that the trees are thinner, it's even colder, Evan says. I'm going to lay in the bathtub for about a week. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You have to live warm for a long time and now you're going to lay in the bathtub, right, Aaron? It's too damn cold out here. It's too darn cold out here. Volunteers of America Outreach employ posts for a portrait near a homeless encampment. Well, good for you, ma'am. Stay out there for a week. I'm sorry. Under a previous anti-homeless model, Kim Evans would have had to prove he was sober and drug-free before he could house and take that warm bath. Ain't that the case? You have to prove you're this, this, and this, and this before you get this. We're well, Utah, Utah is saying, let's not do that. Because Utah is saying, that's a lot of heels to go up for somebody who's already down on their left. Yeah, you got to have stability before you can actually create stability. And Utah's, and that's what Utah's saying. What's your name, sir? What's your name? I'm Finn I live out of a motorhome, and I commute trying to help people. Tell me more. Um, can you still find somebody that isn't so far off? That they're trying to screw me over and I'm trying to help them out. I uh, find a way to get them to places and I'm, I'm commuting to Portland. Boy, wow. I have to do it tonight. Wow. To wow. Help, you know, and she managed to get into another place and I managed to get her there. Wow. But Man. I live in, um, let's say, recon out of a motorhome and I am on post prison so I am nearly halfway on the lamb because I cannot find an address to park for me because bureaucracy and all the stuff that hold this stuff has become a lie because of it. I agree. And now all I want to do is find stability oh, and man. be able to help oh, other man. people. I man give this guy a round of applause. Man. This guy, needs, this guy needs some love and support right now, okay? That's what he needs. He's been pouring himself out there. And, and so what he's looking for is a place to park his RV. Okay? That's it. And, and then look, be over look, the we're, we're, we're done today. Leave your name and number. I got some stuff. Write your stuff down. All right, yeah. You do, okay? I, mean, yeah. I have no guarantees, but what I'm trying to do is have you guys learn to help yourselves. And if we spread the word out to people, somebody's going to have a driveway you can put your place in for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. Can, you can have lower stress.